Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about that long wall setup. I get a lot of calls and emails from people who said, well Dennis, I want to set up on the long wall, not the short wall in my rectangular room. So let's look at the pros and cons of that and maybe uh, this will help you with some of your decisions that you have to make. Setting up on the long wall, obviously, in a rectangular room gives us some advantages for sidewall reflections because the front and the rear wall now are our sidewalls. So the distance is, is farther apart. So the beautiful thing about that is we don't have a small short distance to work with. So we have to keep that distance as long as we can because the time signature on the reflection from the sidewalls needs distance to be managed correctly. When we're in our short walls, when we're on the front and the rear wall and it's shorter, we have less distance. So we have to manage the rates and levels of absorption, which is usually the technology we use to control the time signature. We have to vary the thickness of what we use. We have to vary the positioning of it to get the primary, secondary, and tertiary reflection. So if we have more distance, that makes our jobs easier. Now, for every advantage, there's a disadvantage, right? Because it's a rectangular room. The back wall now is closer to our seats. So when the back wall distance is closer, <clears throat> excuse me, the same situation happens. We have less distance, so the amount of time we have to work with the reflection is diminished. That's why we use diffusion on the rear walls a lot of times, because it makes small rooms sound larger, manages those smaller distances in terms of reflections a lot better. So we have to be very, very careful about how we set up and always set up based on usage. What are you going to do in the room? Not on what you think is right, not on what your opinions are, on the physics of the room but matching the usage. That's the critical part. Because if you're a mix engineer, you want to be able to hear everything in the recorded um, you know, sources. If you're in a playback, a two-channel listening environment, same situation occurs. You want to be able to hear everything that's in there. So we have to match the positioning to what you're doing in the room, the positioning of our speakers, the positioning of our monitors, all of that. So just keep it usage driven as we call it. And if you have any questions, shoot me an email or just call me and we'll help you with it. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.